Hello guys, my name is Blue Games, and today I will be showing you the imbuing station. Now, what the imbuing station does, it lets you craft these flasks. Now, these flasks give you gives you these kind of buffs. Uh, now, I have uh, last attempt when I tried doing this video, I um, I drank a flask of gold. Now, a flask of gold lets you um, well helps you uh, get more gold or at all any coins from uh, any mob that's either passive I don't think passive mobs actually drop gold or any money at all so I think it's only uh, hostile mobs now what's it gonna do it's uh, gonna just drop more gold now there are a lot of these flasks that you can create I don't have time for all of them but I'll show you the, the other one now this one's the flask of poison uh, when you drink a flask it automatically replaces it itself with the flask you just drank so you can't have stacks and stacks of those buffs. Uh, I see the reason why I I think that might be because otherwise you could ha you'd you'd be OP and you just get everything what you want. No, uh, I want to hit him with something that doesn't kill him straight away. Oh no, that killed him straight away. Yeah, I need to find some something that's gonna do that's gonna be better. So once. I Let's try it on this guy. Yep. It got him confused and I think it poisoned him. If I'm correct, it poisoned him or confused him because I have the beekeeper which has a chance of poison. Yep, there. Poison. Poison again. As you saw there, I just poisoned him. So, next episode I will, I will be showing you the, you the Clentaminator. You can buy it from the Steampunker after you've defeated one uh, hard mode boss. This has been Sir Bloodlight Games. Keep your blades bloody, and I will see you next time. Peace.